Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 4 of this RMS Campania tutorial. Uh, today's focus is more areas of the ship's superstructure, uh, deck houses, funnel supports, and skylights, and if I've got time, anything else. So um, yeah, we'll focus on that first. But before I start, I'm just going to show that I've added doors and windows to all of the uh, walls that we built previously. So you can see all around the deck houses on the top here, you've got doors and windows. Down here we've got doors and windows. Underneath here we've got doors and windows. So it's, it's the basic crap that I normally do. Say a dozen windows and a door, a dozen windows, door, you know, it's the all the usual crap that I normally do. So there we go. Doors at each end of the corridor as well. So that is uh, all that done there. So what we're going to do now is go to the back end of the, uh, well, this top deck house basically. Not the bridge wings at the top, but uh, the, the deck house that supports the bridge wings. So we're going to go to the center block and the back wall of said deck house. There's the deck house here, here's the back wall, here's the centre block. So on the deck that supports this deck house, leave a single block and then add a colour block. So you've got a, a single block gap. And then we're going to build a wall uh, 17 wide, so that's uh, 8 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that way. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that way. Then for the sides we want 18, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <laughs> and the same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then join them together across the back, and everything should be fine, and mark out the centre block on the back as well, may as well, <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, so then what we want to do now is leave that at one block height and then go back to the front uh, block, uh, the centre block, and then build a white block and then one white block forward and then remove that said white block, or the one that supports it. Because this is going to be an overhang now, so we're going to build out to the side and then overhang by one block over the side like so and then go down the side and only do the side. Just go to the end like so. So you've got it overhangs by one block like so on the sides and on the front, but on the back it does not. So I do the same the other way. So we go out from the center, out to the other side, like so, and then down the side, like so. And there we go, and then join them together across the back, like that. So there we go. There's the. Uh, sort of deck house done like that and this is basically a funnel support deck house so I'm going to fly over to the prototype and sort of show you how this is meant to be so you can see it's a, it's a yellow platform basically and then the, uh, the funnel support will go on top but the funnel supports are for another day we're just going to focus on this deck house so we're going to want yellow terracotta I think it is I don't know the code for terracotta so I'm just going to do a quick sneaky jump cut and work it out what it is so bear with me uh, it's 1594, so a yellow terracotta, if I just get the yellow, what's it, that stuff, yellow terracotta, always handy, and we'll just start filling in this area, so it's basically a one block high deck house, or two block high deck house if you like, so I should fill in as much of it as I can, and then I shall uh, use the uh, fill tool, so fill, uh, one, one five nine, uh, four, I think. And yep, there we go. There we are. That's the deck house covered. So that's basically a yellow roof. So that is that deck house done there. And there will be another one of these platforms later on, but we're going to focus on the next deck house first, which is a real bastard to do because it is a funny shaped deck house. <coughs> and I do not like it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go from uh, the back wall of this deck house we just built. And without headbutting the microphone, I shall. Uh work out, so I think it's 19 wide, so we'll go from the centre here, put a centre block and then we'll go uh, 9 out to the side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9 out that way, and then the sides are 53, so I shall build freehand and measure as I go along, so we want 53 down the side, and uh, I'll measure it and I get to the end, so how far is that, that is... 35, that is 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, so that's 53 along there, that's fine, and do the same the other side, 53 for the sides, and then everything should be magic and wonderful, uh, nearly there, nearly there, 
and there we go, and, there are, and then <clears throat> when you're at the end, just build across the back to join them together, and then work out which one's the centre block, I believe that was the centre, so I shall mark a colour block there, and just quickly measure to make sure, yep, that's the centre block, that's fine. Right, so there we are, there's our deck house done there, and then what we're going to do is build a roof using uh, dark oak wood and dark oak wood slabs, so... Uh, where is it? Dark oak slabs. There we go. That's what we want. And oh, and also quartz slabs as well. We also need those so quartz slabs as well. And if I fly over to the prototype, because I need to remember how to do this, so we just go over. And we start at the leading edge. The leading edge at the front end. We want four slabs, and then three, 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 one. That's the design we're going for. So you can sort of see how it's designed here. Sort of four slabs in, and then three 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 or five across plus a center one along the top so we'll go with that so I should start the basics and then sort of uh, fill it in roughly um, but the deck house is only one block high as you can see so we'll start at the end and we'll use slabs we'll go four across like so and then three one two three and then three one two three and then three one two three so then go from the other side, we go three, uh, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, oh, there we go. And then add one on the top for the centre, and there we go. So that's the white outline on the edge, and you do the same on the other end, but also white slabs going across the tops of the side walls as well. Now, I do forgive me, as this is a real pain in the ass deck house to build. Um... But we shall get there. So I should go all the way to the other side and then do the same again. So it's one, two, three, four in, and then one, two, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, up to the centre, and then one on the top, like so. And then add it again along the other side. We should add the quartz slabs going along. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we are, there's our quartz slabs, oh, almost done, there we are. So there's the quartz slabs going from side to side, left to right, and also the slabs sloping upwards. So now with the brown slabs, the dark oak wood slabs, you just copy the same thing on the inside, uh, going basically uh, from front to back, if you like. So do the same thing from there, all the way to the back end, and also the slab on the top, like so. So I should do the first few, and then as per usual I do my jump cut to fill it all in because it's going to take forever otherwise because uh, I do not know the... well I could copy paste it all the way along but sometimes that's a real pain in the ass to do so I, like I said I do the first few like so and then I shall do a jump cut to the next part, I'll do one more So, and there we go, that's the first few done, so that's four rows done, you just do that same thing all the way to the back wall of the uh, deck house, and then we can uh, move on from there, so I shall do a jump cut while I fill in the rest, and then uh, we shall move on, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again, so I've filled in the roof, and it should all look something like that. It's not particularly attractive, but, you know, it's what we have, and... Uh, that's what it's going to do. So what we're going to do is just fill in the sides now, or the, the ends, with uh, blocks or slabs or whatever. And uh, everything should all be fine. Not that it really matters. So that's one end sealed. Then we'll go to the front end, fill the, uh, seal the end there. And then we can build the extra deck house on the top. So it's sort of a, well, more of a skylight than a deck house. So we'll go to the top. Uh, go to the front top of the, uh, well, the front centre of this said deck house, or at the front end of it. And we're going to count back to the hang on we're gonna get count back to the twelfth back so on the wood we go one two hang on, I have to count it with the measuring tool so we'll count back to the twelfth back so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so on the twelfth we're gonna use dark oak slabs or wood blocks sorry and we're gonna build a deck house sort of thing so if I use slabs first and build it uh, I work it out. I think it's two blocks high. So I built, piss, built it four slabs high, basically, like so. And then we're going to build outwards. So it's going to be. Uh, I just want to work out. It's 
11 wide, so that's the centre there, and then 5 wide, so two, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out like so, building in slabs, so um, I think the best thing to do is use blocks, oh, piss. just use slabs, it's the easiest thing to do, so build it to 2 blocks high, or 4 slabs high, 5 wide like that, so it's 5 out that way, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out that way, and then build that to 4 slabs high. Like so, so it should look something like like that. So it's 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 eleven wide, five either side of the centre, and they're four slabs high, like so. And then for the sides, because there's going to be another one down this side, we're going to build this one uh, twenty-one for the sides. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and then do the same thing again. Build it to four slabs high. One two three four. 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 Across the to the um, other side. Do the same the other side as well. One two three four. 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 And then build the ground plate again. So it's twenty one or twenty between going to the front and back. Like so. And then. The sides, we just build that to four slabs high as well. I'll do one side and then I'll copy it to the other side because it's going to take forever otherwise. So build the side four slabs high as well, like so. Apologies for not explaining this very well. It's a really, it's not complicated, it's just sort of an awkward design. So, you know, it's, it's not something I <laughs> really wanted to do. Anyway, that's the side done. You can see it's built up like so. And what I'll do, I'll quickly copy that to the other side. Otherwise, if I build it freehand, it'll be a bloody day. So copy to there, and we do uh, copy, flip, and then paste, and there we go, there's the other side done. <clears throat> and then what we do, on the inside here, we just remove uh, all the stuff we don't want, because this is just to be an open skylight for the deck below, basically. So I shall remove as much of it as I can freehand, and then we'll uh, try and do it, and then add the, well, basically the roofing, remove all the the grooves and uh, supports and things, because they're not needed. So sort of get an idea on how this is meant to be, so just like in, inside the square basically is everything gets removed and then we'll add uh, a sort of skylight roof. You could glaze it with glass but there's no half slab glass blocks so it's up to you how you want to do it. On the prototype I didn't add any glass to it so you may want to uh, go with your own design so I should quickly use world edit to remove the rest of this crap because I don't need it. So sit to there and then sit down to there, up to there, and then remove the last few niggles. And there we go, there's that space all cleared out, and it should, in theory, look something like that. And then for the skylight uh, beams, we can go from the centre, and I'm just trying to think actually, we'll use slabs and go from the centre, or along the centre basically, from top or from end to end, add a central beam like so. And then every other block, we add beams like so. So it's a s two slabs, one, one, and then slabs going across to the center like so. Like that. So you've got a beam going across like that. And then do the same next line up, next block along, leave a block. And then do the same again. Same again, leave a block. And you sort of get the idea. Basically, just building a rib cage effectively. So think of it as a dead whale, basically. Not a good analogy, but you know, it's it's something. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And uh, well, I've got one that's slightly too thick, but we'll go with that. And we'll go. There we are. That sort of looks something like that. You could make this one block longer or one block shorter. It depends on how you want to do it. Because uh, we've got an odd number of uh, beams here, but not a big worry. But it should look something like that on one side. You do the same the other side, so I should quickly copy paste it to the other side. And then we can move on because I'm bored of this already. Uh, copy to that point. And we do uh, copy, flip, and paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And it should look something like that. On the prototype, I have actually got a two block gap between each. That's probably why I've uh, messed it up. Um, but it's up to you how you want to do it. If you can see here, it's a single block gap between each pillar or each uh, strut. If I go over to the prototype, you can see it is a two block gap. That's where I messed up. But it's not a big deal. You can uh, do any design you want, really. As you can see, 
it's a two block gap whereas on the one over there it's a single block gap but like I say you can design this however you want and uh, everything should be fine um, but we'll uh, quickly look at what I've done and then I can move on so that is that deck house and skylight done there um, yeah and uh, what we'll do we'll do a jump cut now and move on to the next part so um, back in a moment okay back again so I've done the measuring and what we'll do now is move on to the next phase which is another platform basically uh, that supports the funnel so we're gonna go down to the back wall of the uh, awkward deck house we just built and we're gonna leave a single block gap so it's the same sort of process as before from the center block of the back wall leave a single block gap and build a color block them at the center and then we build this wall uh, 17 wide again so that's eight either side one two three four five six seven eight that way and one two three four five six seven eight that way and then the sides are 18 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty fifty sixty seventeen eighteen and at the end of the 18 you build out one like so that would be the beginnings of the next deck house so uh, that's that one so do the same the other side go 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and then out one like so and then join them across the back like so without doing any damage and there we go there's the back wall done I'll just add a color block again on the back just to know it is the center <clears throat> there we go there's our deck house sort of planned out and then from these eight, uh, these uh, blocks at the end of the 18 we'll add a block on top and then build forward to create the overhang for the uh, overhanging deck or overhang support basically so down the side across the front overhang the front and then overhang the other side down to the end of that uh, sticky out block on the back like so and there we go and then across the back again like so like that I'm just gonna check the prototype a second because I can't remember how I'd done this uh, yeah, there's a wall I've got to add so the, the wall on the back is two and a half blocks high that's something I didn't expect I thought it was three blocks high but it doesn't matter anyway what, what I said was what, on the back wall here so on the back wall which is uh, one block wider we're going to build two blocks high build a wall basically two blocks high all the way across the width of the back wall here so like so and then across the top again like so so it's the wall in total is four blocks high and then add a, la a line of slabs along the top of that as well so no real reason for this it's just there and uh, there we go there's a back wall done like so and it should look something like that so it's basically four blocks in height now that back wall and then the rest inside here we just add yellow uh, well, I used yellow terracotta but you can use any color you want yellow terracotta and as before just fill in space uh, with yellow going all the way from the front to the back left to right whichever way you want and I shall use the fill tool because I can and it is fill uh, one five nine four and there we go there's that section all filled in and there we are that's the second funnel support so funnel number two will sit on that point there now for the next deck house <coughs> we're going to go to the back wall uh, which is now four blocks high or four and a half blocks high and we're going to build from the ends we're going to build lines of blocks which are uh, 16 blocks long so we'll build the side 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then double that in height so these are now 16 16 long two blocks in height do the same the other side 16 long 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and double in height like so and then of course join them together across the back like so and then I'll mark the center as well so which one's the center that one there we go there's our foundations of our deck house and it's the same sort of process as before uh, don't worry about the front one for the minute but what we'll do is just add slabs around the edge for the minute or along the sides and then at the back wall we'll add four in I think this is how it goes four and then three three and then three to the center and the same the other side I should build slabs along the side and then across the back hang on so it was two three four and then three three and then three plus one on top if you need to and then we'll fill in this gap at the back here with slabs 
like so and that should look something like that the front wall we don't need to worry about because you've got this wall here already um, and then what we do we do the same process as before we use brown or dark oak slabs and use the same design again but uh, on a smaller scale because of course it's a smaller deck house so I shall do the first few and then oh bloody phone ringing bear with me oh, disaster averted uh, yep carry on to doing all this all the way from front to back or back to front whichever way you want to go um, I shall do a couple more as per usual then I'll do the jump cut because it's just going to save a bit of time and everything will be fine so that's the first few well, first few sections done just do that all the way to the front end and everything should be fine so um, back in a moment right back again I filled in the roof and it should look something like that and now we're going to add the skylight which is going to be built in white uh, it goes from the third block back on the wood so we go from the front of the uh, wood roof go to the third block back so one two three and remove the center one and replace with a block or a slab basically or yeah go go for a slab like so and then build it three slabs high so that's one in the center then build it one two three high so it's four slabs in total basically but you've got to remove one in the middle um, and then build it uh, seven wide so that's three out each side so we go uh, bottom and then one two three remove the bottom and then one two three and then remove the bottom one two three like so so there you are there's there's three that side and then do the same the other side three so one two three four one two three four and then one two three four like so and there we are there's the uh, middle or the front wall done and then for the sides are six so we go remove one and go one two three four five six and replace with white one two three four five six do the same the other side Repl remove six one two three four five six and replace one two two three four five six and then across the back just remove the blocks for the minute and replace with white and build the same design basically so two three four high two three four 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 like so and that's the back like so and each side you build to the same height again as the as the ends so four slabs high basically so it's already one high two three four 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 and as before remove all the crap in the middle because you don't need it because this is a skylight like so and then for the room uh, the support ribs you just want one in the middle so we go uh, two and then two back or whichever way you want to go so it's, it's sort of a basically five wide like so so and then build it like that and it should look something like that but it's up to you how you want to do it um, but on the prototype I did gla I didn't glaze it but I just put um, what did I use I used wood slabs I think if I could go over to the prototype in a minute because it's not not a very good design that I used um, but I think yeah I just used wood slabs inside to sort of make it look like dark glass because you haven't got glass slabs so it's up to you you can leave it open if you want to like I did with the uh, the front skylight but you know it's up to you how you want to interpret this but I think what I do I'll leave it bare because you know it just looks weird otherwise and if you want to add a central sprue as well like so and there you go that's the uh, basic skylight done there wonderful isn't it right anyway that is all that crap done there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another jump cut because the game is lagging like hell so um back in a moment and I'll remove uh, begin the next phase so yeah back in a moment okay back again so what we're going to do now is move on to the last two deck houses on the top deck here so once before or as before we go to the back wall of the previous deck house and we're going to leave a single block gap so single block gap and we're going to put a single block there like so and then we're going to count out don't build but count out uh five to the hang on, count out uh, to the fifth block out so one two three four five and then we build on that point there do the same the other side one two three four five and build a block there and then you can remove the center block there and then from these end blocks we're going to build five wide one two three four or increase it to five wide and then the sides are 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen same on the other side of this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then across the back. 
and then do the same the other side five wide 15 sides so two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then join them together across the back. And there you go, you've got two sort of deck houses like so. And then what you do, you increase them in height to two blocks high, all the way around. So I'll do the, the one on the left first and focus on the other one. So two blocks high all the way around, like so. And then what we want, we want uh, quartz, no, yeah, quartz stairs. So where's our quartz stairs? We want those. And then we want um, dark oak wood stairs as well, so there we go. So I'll just quickly look at the prototype and work out how this goes. And then what we want to do on the end, uh, either at the front or the back end, we'll add stairs, block, and then stairs like so. So it's two stairs high like that. And then you want two brown stairs and then white stairs, two brown stairs, 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 white stairs. There you go, that's how the design you want to go. And then double that in height, so you want two brown, one white, two brown, one white, and then two brown, one white, two brown, one white, two brown, one white. And there you go, that's one side done. And you do the same on the other side, so you need the two high white stairs, like so. And then it's the same before, so you want two brown, one white, two brown, probably the right shape. One white, two brown, bloody hell. One white, two brown, one white, two brown, one white. And then of course double that in height, but first I'm going to add a central pillar first, so across the centre I'll add a central white pillar like so, just makes building it a bit easier. And then, like so. And then we just use the, uh, you know, add the stairs as we go along. So it's it's basically a pyramid sort of thing. Like so. So you can see it's sort of shaped like that. So from the front or back, it's shaped like so. So it's two blocks high base, and then you've got two high stairs, like so. So and then you want to uh, evenly spaced out, like so. So, like I say, it's one white, two brown, one white, two brown, one white, two brown, one white, two brown, all the way along to get to the end. And you do the same on the other deck house as well, but I won't bother doing that to freehand. I use World Edit to do it because it just takes too long otherwise. And then well, I'll do a copy from down here. Do copy, and then I'll paste it over here. paste there and there we go that's the other one done and you should have two deck houses that look something like that nothing really special but there you go and then on the tops of these deck houses uh, roughly say fourth fourth back from the front so on the top center go one two three four and then build a vent uh, three high plus stairs and then another block forward like so and then another five blocks back one two three four five uh, make it six, add another vent, so one, two, three, high, plus stairs facing forward, and then another block like so. so. There you go, there's two vents like that. Do the same on the other one, so fourth block back, one, two, three, four, add the vent, stairs, plus another block on the front, and then two, three, four, five, six back, same again. Three high, stairs, and a block like so, and there we go, there's those vents added there. And then between the back wall, so on the back wall of the two deck houses, roughly between, uh, or directly between, we add another skylight. So we were, we'll cut a hole uh, three wide, say, say, call it three by three, like so. And then add blocks in the middle, like so. And then quartz stairs all the way around. It's a very basic skylight. There's more like a bloody asshole than a skylight, but there you go. And then just glaze it like so, and it should look something like that. So there's the uh, pretty much all the deck houses done. Um, you can add a few windows to them if you want to, but on the prototype I didn't because there's not there's not a lot of room to add windows to these deck houses because they're so flat. But you know you could basically go on the inside and add access from below. Really, it'd probably be a better idea. Uh, but that is the deck houses done there. So what we're going to do now is add the open uh, well open staircase on the stern. Really. So what we're going to do we're going to go to the uh, between the two deck houses on the stern, you've got the docking bridge uh, deck house there, and you've got this other deck house on the front here. So we we'll go to this forward deck house, and we're going to go to the centre, and we're going to count to the fourth block back. So one, 
two, three, four, and then we cut a hole which is uh, 15 wide, so that's seven either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way, and the sides are nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that way, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then join them together across the back. So you got this big hole there, and then you just remove all the wood in between because we don't need it anymore. So we do. Uh, set zero and there we go there's all the wood removed in there so you've got a big hole in the deck there and then what we do we add white around uh, the inside like so like that and then on the in on the uh, deck down below uh, if we go to the center block so if I mark this one as the center like so and then go on the on the underside and one block in so not on this edge but on the wood edge on the inside we build down four to create a wall basically or, or a pillar so you've got four down like so and then you build that or actually we'll go from the top so you build around the inside of the uh, of the rim of the of the building so you're not building along the edge you're building inside or outside the edge basically so it's you're basically building along the wood edge rather than the white edge so you build this all the way around, like so, and then you build that all the way down, all the way around, so it's f a four high wall, all the way around, and it should look fine. So I just do one side and then uh, I should use the good old copy paste. So you get the idea, that's half of it done, it should look something like that. So I just quickly copy paste this to the other side and everything should be fine. I just stand here and use uh, copy, flip and then paste. And there we go, both sides done, minus that little gap there. There we go, so you've got this open space now which uh, kind of looks like a pit. And then from the back wall, the uh, wall closest to the uh, docking bridge we're going to go to the fourth block in from the edge so one two three four and remove two blocks and two more blocks and we we'll add stairs so we we'll use wood stairs and we build stairs stairs and you need blocks underneath for support stairs blocks blocks and stairs 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 like so so your staircase there and then we we'll add the banisters so two up from the ends, so two up, two up, two up, and one underneath. Same the other side, two up, two up, two up, and one underneath, like so. There you go, that's one staircase, and at the top here, you can uh, put white blocks in, like so. And do the same the other side, so the fourth block in, one, two, three, four, we remove more blocks and replace with stairs. So there's two staircases going down, basically. Uh, stairs. Stairs, 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 always stairs. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up, and one. And the other side, two up, two up, two up, and one. And there we go, that's that little pit done there. And as before, you can start adding doors and windows to this area. I think on the real ship this was more open, but I've just sort of done a very basic uh, mock-up, if you like. It's nothing really special, but add a few doors, a few windows, and it will look a bit better. So let's do one side for the minute up to the center and another window there and another set of doors and then windows on the other side so windows windows and windows and it should look something like that a bit more inviting but it's not brilliant but you know it should look something like that and then with our handrails our iron bars which have not broken out yet we shall build handrails all the way around the edge of this saves people falling in it do, 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 do. So yep, handrails all the way around, and everything should be all funky diddly dory. And there we go. That's our little section done there. Yeah, nothing really special, but it's done, and that's all that matters. And uh, that's pretty much it for that job. I'll probably come back to it later on and add a bit more detail, but 
you know, nothing really special at the moment. Um, we can also do a bit more detail on this deck house as well. We can, uh, don't really matter where, but if we just sort of add a pair of um, vents on the, on the top. So if we go from one side, we'll add a vent. Doesn't matter where, just add a, rent, a vent, say four blocks high. Uh, I need quartz stairs again because that's always needed. Uh, quartz stairs on the top. Quartz stairs there, and then a block forward. And then we should use the penis-shaped ones that we, or uh, well, that I built on the Titanic. We'll go up two on the sides, and then two on the back, like so. And there we go. There's one vent there. I'll do the same on the other side because it may keep it symmetrical. So about three wide, four high, plus stairs, and a slab, a stair block on the front and then build the sides too high and the back too high and there we go two vents on the side or on the top there and then as before we can add handrails around the edge because they're not really well so they're accessible you don't want to fall off it though even though it's only a four block height and there we go that's that section done there and uh, I think we can do the same with the uh, docking bridge as well we've got to uh, two more vents to go on the top here so roughly on the front but not exactly dead on the front we'll think the same distance on the side so we go say go from the corner wood block and diagonally inwards we build a vent there so I build that four high put stairs on the top and a block forward two on the sides two on the side and then two up at the back there's that vent there and do the same the other side uh, four up plus the two on the sides two on the back and then the stairs on the front and there, there we go. There's those vents there, and then we can add handrails all the way around this deck house as well. So I'll just go all the way around the docking bridge, and everything should be fine. There's a bit more detail to go on in a moment, but we'll worry about that in a minute. That's to go underneath the deck house, uh, this deck house. It's uh, the supporting pillars that go around the edge, but we'll worry about that in a minute. And that's that section done there, and up to the centre. There we go. There's the uh, docking bridge, more or less done, and uh, don't look too bad. And yeah, I, ha I have added the doors and windows to that section as well, so that's those uh, areas done. And uh, they don't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to fly down to the front end, down to the forecastle, and we're going to add the handrails around the edge of that. So um, yeah, everything should all line up fine. Now, if you're familiar with my previous videos of uh, ships I do with these sort of things. Uh, when I build the handrails on the bow, if I go to the tip of the bow first, and uh, whenever I build handrails, I always try to build them uh, overlapping like so, so they're all connected. But as you overlap them, they're actually building on the wood as well. So the best thing to do is remove the wood blocks in the interconnecting sections. So when you build the handrails, the handrails will be on the black all the time. So you can see there, it's on the black all the time there, but here it's on the wood. So best thing to do is every interconnecting section just remove the wood block and replace with black or, or any color that you're using for this hull so I should do this for the bow up to a certain point up to there and is there any, any more sections yep there's one more under the bridge wing there and I do the same the other side because the, the handrails are going to go the full length of the ship basically they go from the tip of the bow all the way to the stern so I'll get those out of the way first so I just build this section and everything should be hunk diddly dory Damn it. and there we go there's the um, the wood blocks or oh, black blocks placed in there so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the uh, left hand side handrails, it's going to go all the way down the length of the ship <laughs> all the way around to the tip of the stern and then I'll probably do a copy paste for the other side because it's going to take forever otherwise um, Actually, it's not. I can use the uh, world edit for it because it's only uh, code 101. So, yeah, I'll do a, a put 101 in place along the side. Otherwise, it'll take forever. Otherwise, so I should do the, the bow section first. There is more detail to go on this forecastle later on, like uh, the, the um, breakwaters, pillars, and uh, all sorts of things. So there we are. There's the handrails on the forecastle done there. Now do the uh, down the side. So I shall go from uh, there down to the back end and uh, use weld edit for this bit because it does take a little while. Down to the back end here and use replace zero with 101. And there we go, handrails added there. And then I shall go 
and add the handrails around the stern and everything should be fine that's the theory anyway Do 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 Then we are up to the centre there. As you can see, you've got handrails pretty much all the way around the ship there. So I should quickly copy paste at the back end here, the back end handrails, and then uh, everything should be a bit better. So if I do it freehand, it's going to take forever. So bear with me on this one. So I shall quickly uh, copy, flip, and then paste to the other side, there we go, there's the handrails down that side and then I shall uh, use weld edit for the other side or the, the long straight here so handrails go all the way down the other side and uh, down to this point here so uh, 101 there and then replace or build handrails going up to the tip of the bow so everything should be okay and it's not going to take long, it could have been longer but there we go doing it all wrong here and I've removed a block I shouldn't have and the last part goes there, there we go, there's all the handrails added around the edge and it should look something like that Nothing really special, but you know it's it's a thing nonetheless. Now there's going to be pillars to add now as well, connecting the uh, main hull of the ship to the uh, overhanging boat deck. So we're going to go over to the prototype a second and work out how we add these. I'm just going to work out. I think it's every four blocks or every fifth five blocks. I think it's, it's every four blocks we add pillars. So if you look on the side here, uh, we've got these bar pillars which attach from the deck above down to the handrails below and they go on every fourth block along the side connecting the uh, hull to the deck don't worry about the uh, lifeboat pillars, they'll be added later on so every fourth block, so if I start on the left hand side we go <clears throat> from this large thick pillar here we'll add a first pillar in the right place going down uh, one block back from the uh, from that big pillar there and then every fourth every fourth block after that, so one, two, three, four add another pillar and then one two three four add another pillar and I'll try and do this as quick as I can because it's a bit of a pain in the ass one two three four add another pillar one two three four add another pillar one two three four you get the idea how this is going one two three four and <laughs> try and do it properly without screwing it up so that's a pillar there one two three four a pillar one two three four one, two, three, four. I'll do the next few and then I'll probably do a jump cut because this is going to take forever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, these are a real pain in the ass to add. One, two, three, four, and uh, that will do for now. I'll do a jump cut now while I add the rest, but you basically go all the way down to the end of the overhanging deck, and it should all look fine. So I should do a jump cut, fill in the rest, and then we'll uh, come back. So um, actually, before I do that, you can do the same on the deck below as well. Where you've got these open corridors here, what you do is you add the um, pillars there as well. So go from the pillar above and continue that pillar down to the uh, open promenade below as well so it should look something like this so add pillars down like so and it should look something like that so you've got pillars going from the top down and inside that area there so I'm going to do a jump cut while I fill in the rest and uh, back in a moment okay back again I've added all the pillars along the side of the ship and it should in theory look something like that can't see them very well but uh, they're all there nonetheless uh, on the back end of the uh, open promenade you are going to bring the or uh, we'll have to bring the pillars in slightly because of the curvature of the hull but it's not a big deal it's just you follow the contours of the bottom of the hull or the bottom part of the overhang and then just build the pillars up to connect to the wood blocks inside it only goes for about three pillars but it's not a big deal
Anyway, that's uh, that side done. I've done the other side as well. Just quickly uh, have a nosy at that. And you can see the pillars there as well. Uh, what I haven't done though is the pillars for the docking bridge. So we'll just fly down to that first. And we're going to add some pillars there as well. So just trying to think how many we need. If I start from the uh, front of the uh, docking bridge, so I've had a, a pillar up. Piss pillar up to connect to the docking bridge there so there's the first pillar there and say go same again every fourth block so that's one two three four pillar down to the thing there and then one two three four same again I'm going to bring it in one because of the curvature of the ship and then same again one two three four down again so there we go that's four pillars on that side there, so that's the support for the uh, docking bridge. I did the same on the other side, it shouldn't take too long. He lied. Uh, and uh, we'll go from here, so one, two, three up, and then one, two, I'll piss, put it there. Okay, one, two, three, four, curve. Oh, bloody hell. I hate these things, they're really awkward to build. Alright, that's number two, so one, two, three, four again, and then build the next one down there and then one two three four last one there there we go there's the pillars done there so that's all them done and the ship should look not much different um, and that's pretty much it for that so the last job for today which is the last job I'm going to do uh, is to the funnel support so we're going to go back to the front of uh, or the first yellow platform that I built earlier on and we're going to add the funnel support so Go to the centre block of the funnel support, which I can't find. I need to put a red block in there. So there we are. There's the centre. So we go to the centre front of the uh, yellow platform. So this is the front platform. This is the centre here. And we'll get our uh, yellow blocks we need. And we're going to go to the second block back on the yellow. So that's the first. Go to the second block. And we'll build and build. Uh, How wide is it? It is five wide so that's the center and two out that way and two out that way so it's five wide and then to the sides we want two and two and then two back and then three one two three and then four one two three four and then back inwards again we want three one two three three again one two three and then two two and one for the center and there we go that's one side I'll do the same the other side I think that's the center in it uh, no it's not so I'm gonna I think I fucked up somewhere. Hang on. Uh, two, two, and then one, two, ah, three, four, five. So yeah, build it five wide across the back as well. So sorry, it's my mistake there. Uh, I build up to the centre actually, so get rid of those two. So there's the centre block there. So do the same the other side. We go two out, two out, two back, and then three, one, two, three, then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, three, two, two, and then across the back to the centre. And there we go. There's the funnel support sort of done and then we build that uh, three high so increase it to three high all the way around and it shouldn't take too long in theory I do one side I think and then I copy it to the other side just to save a bit of time because it is a pain in the ass to do right anyway that is half done so I shall copy it to the other side and then we can move on to bigger and better things. So up to there, so we do copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides. That's the funnel supports done. Um, if you want to, you can fill this all in with black, uh, with, with yellow if you want to. Because if I fly over to the prototype, the funnel sits on top of this thing, uh, this support. Um, but I think it's probably best, really, to fill the whole thing in. Because it's just a support, really. <coughs> excuse me uh, so I think what I'll do I'll add a yellow cover to the top you add a yellow roof to this support because the funnel's going to sit on top nonetheless and you're not going to see what's underneath uh, so yeah just uh, fill it all in like so I could have used world edit to do it but I'll do that for the next one and then everything should be all fine and dandy when that's done And there we go, almost. There we go, that's that. That's the first funnel support done. And as I said, the funnel will sit eventually on top of that. So that's the first one done. 
So we're going to go to the second funnel now, and we're going to go to the yellow path. Uh, yellow platform again and we go from the center front of the yellow platform so we don't count back this time we go from the very front block of the uh, platform so from this point here so on the center front block we build the same again so five wide so two that way and two that way and then two out two out two back and three one two three uh, and then four one two three four and then three three two and two same the other side, two out, two out, two back, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, and then across the back like so. And it's the same design again, uh, but I'll come back and sort that out later on because it's exactly the same thing. Build it to three blocks high. Actually, I can paste it, can't I? Because I've already got it copied. So if I go to here and go paste. Oh, fudge it. Okay, undo that. Um. Why does it do that? So I do flip and then paste, see what happens. Nope, that didn't do anything either. Okay, so things are not going to plan. I'm going to have to copy that again. So I'll just copy it, flip it, paste it, and do all that guff. Um, and everything should be fine. So I'll copy from there up to the center. And then I'll just copy. And then I'll paste it in place. So it's the same design again in the funnel will sit on top of that so I should quickly paste it into place where I can so we do uh, paste there and then flip to the right wherever it is there we are and then paste again and there we go there's the other funnel support done there and uh, that will be for another day when we do the funnel so we're getting through the ship quite well now I don't think we're gonna need to build well, not to build, but I'm uh, going to need too many more videos after this because we're up to part what is part four now, and we've got this far. So I think I think part six, uh, five and six will be the last videos. That's that's what I'm sort of calculating. I don't guarantee that, but uh, that's what we've got so far in four videos. For for uh, for part five, I think we'll get the funnels and the lifeboats out of the way, and maybe a bit more, but we'll see. And part six probably the folks on that it depends if I can get everything in in the next video it depends what I can sort of get done but we'll see um, but what we've done so far is pretty good so yeah it's not looking too bad so that is all I'm going to do for today and uh, we shall move on to part five later on uh, with the funnels uh, lifeboats and things like that but anyway that'll be for another day so this is rich signing off logging off disappearing and I shall return in part five so um, yeah bye for now